guys welcome back to my channel so it's another sunday and for this sunday i decided to do a different thing than a year or nay so i decided to do a check-in so i'm checking in on like the tv series and like to see what's up and like how is it going like are people still interested in it or the buzz around the show has died down so for this first check-in playlist i decided to do empire so if you know empire empire is the show that gave us you know what is love drip drop such hits in this world and I also reintroduce the world to Taraji P. Henson and she has been my favorite actress forever like forever and ever and then you know and all of that so yeah let's get into the video so my name is Ifa Lavi please subscribe to my channel and hit the comments below so Empa started I think three years ago right or two years ago Empa started three years ago and they are in their fourth season so you know when Empire started, like it had this whole buzz around, like every week, week after week, the buzz around Empire was like to the roof, like it was on another level. But then, I think ever since they are the middle of their third season, people, even though they still had viewers watching it, but the numbers started dwindling, and then people weren't as interested in it anymore on social media. Like of course, like they still, you know, spoke about it, but then it wasn't as it used to be. Like it wasn't like its first and second episode. So with this check I'm wondering why has the buzz for Empire died down? Like why are people not checking for Empire as they used to? So I'm going to offer the reasons I think. These are not like concrete reasons. I'm throwing the questions to you. You should throw the questions back. Let's all like I'm going to brainstorm in this video and find out why Empire is not such a buzz anymore. So me the first thing I think about why Empire like the music in Empire especially for the season four i don't like most of the music in season four like especially for their 20th year anniversary right hakim came to sing some song for the 20th year anniversary i thought okay this is 20 years of empire so it's going to be amazing but then i don't know i really didn't like the song like the season one the music in season one it hasn't been replicated like season two the music was okay season three but this is a four. I haven't liked any of the music. I don't know. Maybe you guys might have liked it, but for me personally, I really don't like any of the music, especially the 20th anniversary music. I just felt very, very slighted. I and mean, I felt it very personally. Like the music isn't as nice as it used to be. The second reason why I think people do not like Empire, I'm not watching Empire, the fact that the three sons, right, Jamal, Andre, Hakim, they they don't seem to have any storyline. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that they aren't doing anything in the story, but, you know, in the first two seasons, their stories were something that you wanted to see what Andre is going to be up to, what Hakim is going to do, what Jamal is going to do. But right now, they kind of feel like they are faded into the background. Like, of course, they still have storylines, they still have roles to play, but their roles aren't as interesting as I thought it would be. Because the person I had the most hopes for was Andre, because I thought Andre would be like the super mastermind and everything, but then Andre is very boring like he's become very boring like i thought after ronda died he you know he was just going to go off like the switch was there he's going to go all out ruthless even when he got down with shine sneeze i thought he and the girl they'll be like some power couple where they'll just take empire to them but then i don't what happened to the girl nothing like in this fourth season he's not with the girl he's some guy wearing hats that looks awful like i really i don't know what happened to andre but and Jamal too. I don't know. I feel like they made the stories of the three sons background noise where there could have been so much potential because in the first season when they were all trying to like get the empire and this person was backstabbing this and like Jamal was all disinterested in it. I thought, you know, okay, let's see what's going to happen. But then the third or fourth season, I have no idea what's going on with Empire, the boys. I, I really want to find out because like they are my favorite people in it, but then at this point, it's just very, very sad. And another reason why I'm not as interested in Empire anymore is Jamal. Like, you know how they set up Jamal to be this, like, you know, the person to look out for? He's still the person to look out for, but then I feel like they're not giving... His love interests are very boring. Like, this season four, the Warren or whatever, he's not interesting. Like, there's nothing particularly interesting about his relationships in that in last season, the producer like he wasn't producer babe their therapist he wasn't therapist babe they haven't given jamal any person that is oh babe no jamal hasn't gotten any bay for us to like so me personally that's why sometimes watching empire and it gets to like jamal's part i just try as much as possible to skip because it's not like there's anything interesting going to happen there he's just going to brood see warren and then i don't know very boring one of the major things 
that I think contributes to Empire not having as much luster or as much lush is the fact that it's like I feel like there are too many episodes, right? In season one, Empire had 13 episodes. Straight to the point, you know, straight to the point. But then they got to 18 episodes, and while 18 episodes isn't a lot, it's still too much. Because I feel like sometimes when you have too many episodes, you try to bring out some things to just fill in the spaces, and then it becomes some way. When you have 13 episodes, you know that you're going to tell your story in 13 hours. So how are we going to build it up to 13 hours? Because I feel like the extra five hours have just been very, very boring for Empire. Because season three of Empire was a drag for me personally. And even me saying it, I feel hit. Because I really, really love Empire, right? But 18 episodes is, is too much. If you give us 13 great episodes, we would fall in love with it. Because give us those 10 episodes. Power is 10 episodes or nine. And power, the thing about power is that power has now gotten the street credits that Empire used to have which is like such a huge reversal of roles right and the next thing is that i feel like there's too many star power in empire like it got to a point empire wanted to be like the who's who of black hollywood and hollywood like who do you think we are bringing in next there's forest whitaker does chris rock maria carey like they brought in so many different star power so it made me feel like anytime you see a new star you concentrate on oh that's chris rock so even though they are playing a role in the show you kind of got distracted from the plot of the show and concentrated on oh look at the star that is there so i felt like you know too many meats in the soup it kind of dragged it down for me so no i do not mm -mm. i think that's too many star power in it so i think that's why like empire is a bit of a drug and another thing is that Lucius and Cookie, right? They're supposed to be the basis of the show. Like, they're the ones that hold the show together. And this fourth season, this whole thing of Lucius losing his memory, it feels like a telenovela. Like, I feel like I watched Esmeralda, right? And he fell down, lost his memory, fell down, gained his memory. And it makes it feel very some way. Because that's how I thought it would have ended season three, right? Personally, I thought cookie and lucius will go on the world tour they will tour the world they are living their lives you know and then they are going to leave the boys in charge and see what happens so me in my mind i thought okay this is going to be like so cookie and lucius they are on tour they are touring the world enjoying their lives and then the boys are basically ruining empire and anytime they call you like oh yeah, yeah it's going on great but then they come back from their honeymoon and come and realize that oh shit like this is crazy like they really ruined the company but then Lucius loses his memory, he has a prosthetic leg, it's just so prolic, right? And I don't know, I think that's why people are kind of losing interest in it. And once again, let me repeat, these are reasons I think, I'm not claiming to say that these are concrete reasons set in stone. No, these are the reasons that I think, like from watching it, from talking to other people, these are the reasons I think. You can add your own to it in the comments below. Let me know watch like why you do not watch empire anymore if you're still watching empire what has changed about it for you when empire started right i remember i watched the first empire episode because i saw taraji p henson in it and any movie that has taraji or gabriel union i'm clicking it so fast i don't care what it is it can be like the most boring thing in this world i will watch it and when i started i was so interested in it and i was so like excited because there's a show that wasn't it wasn't just a black show anymore like it was a show for everybody everybody could relate to it like they had the songs there was the memes there was everything and right now empire's like empire is great like no doubt about it empire is really really great now but sometimes watching empire makes it makes me sad because at first I, like there was so much excitement going to watch empire but right now when i watch i'm like oh, god what's going to happen and i really don't like that like it really bothers me a lot. A lot of things bother me, but Empire not being one of them really bothers me. So then that's it. These are like six reasons I gave to why I think Empire is not as popular or it's not as, you know, it doesn't have the street cred as it used to. So leave me your comments below and let me know what you thought. Or let me know what you think about why Empire is coming this way. Let me know. Do you still watch Empire or you just stopped watching Empire? Like you're just like, you know, I'm not going to fuck with it. Just threw the whole show away. Or, you know, Empire should have been like American Horror Story. Now, I'm not saying like in, in terms of anthology, but in terms of 10 episodes or 11 episodes, we're done, we're moving on to the next one. I don't know, leave me your comments, leave me your thoughts, let me know what you think about Empire, let me know if you're still going to root for Empire, like to the Empire, are you still going to do that? Or you're like, I'm done, I'm looking for a new show to watch. So if it's any of those things, 
let me know okay in the comments below so my name is Ifala B. thank you so much for watching the video and hit that subscribe button pause you are here like I feel like if you've seen the video you should like show me some love and then hit the subscribe button that's going to be down there and oh check out my other videos that are going to be here right and I'll see you on my next video I'm going to do another check-in or a year or nay depending on my mood but definitely a year or nay because there's an, a new show that I think you guys should watch so until I see you on my next video